Hello friends, uh, welcome to the new vlog and today I'm going to take you to Devil's Sponge Ball waterfall track. So be with me, thanks. So we are in South Island of New Zealand and as you can see we have got such a beautiful landscapes over here. Yeah, it's amazing. I took the State Highway 73 and that will take me to the Arthur Fast towards the west coast. So today I started my journey from Christchurch and I am going to take you to Arthur Pass on the State Highway 73. We have already covered some spot on this highway that's Lake Linden, Castle Hill, Porter Ski Field and the Cave Stream. Yeah, and the lake that you are seeing in front of me is the Lake Pearson. Yeah, it's around like 30 minutes away from the Arthur Pass but it has got some beautiful picnic spots. We are on the Alpine State Highway, it's also called as State Highway 73 and the river basin that you are seeing on my right hand side that's the Waimakiriri river basin and the bridge that we are about to cross is the bridge that will enter us to the Arthur Pass National Park yes near this bridge the Bailey River joins to the Waimakiriri River and makes the bigger Waimakiriri River which then flow towards the Christchurch this is what I was explaining the bridge is marked with the black marker now we have reached to the Arthur Pass and I'm going to start the Daily Sponge Ball walking track. It is uh, on the right side uh, of the State Highway 73 after the Arthur Pass village. It's a nice sunny day today, otherwise it normally rains in Arthur Pass so make sure you carry your rain jackets along with you. It's a little bit of cold here. But I think once we start walking, then it will get warmer. Uh, there will be two bridges uh, along this walk. Yeah, that's the first bridge. Yeah, let's cross it. It says only 10 people can walk on this bridge at a time. Beautiful landscapes on both sides of the bridge. And it will take around 30 minutes to complete this Devil Sponge Ball waterfall track one way actually. Uh, I've got two four-year kids with me, so it's like it's 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 a good walking track for kids as well. And once you cross the first bridge, we have to take a ride, and then after walking around 10 20 steps we'll get the second bridge and this is the second bridge and from this bridge uh, we can have a glimpse of the waterfall as well beautiful water and that's the waterfall once you cross the second bridge you will get into the bush area uh, of the track and on this track there are 400 steps uh, the kids will get tired I think but currently they're enjoying it uh, the area is nicely covered uh, with the uh, shade so not to worry about the getting sun tanned yeah along the track you can have a glimpse of a waterfall and uh, that's like a inspiration for you if you are walking on this track if you cannot see anything but on this track you can still see the waterfall and can hear the waterfall as well while walking yeah have some steep 
steps along the way and we are almost there now the track is nicely maintained by the Department of Conservation we are at the viewpoint of the waterfall as you can see just enjoy it it's beautiful it is beautiful You can actually walk to the waterfall but I'm comfortable here at the viewing point. It's beautiful isn't it? And the good thing is the kids made it to the end. Now they are going back and yeah that's really nice. I enjoyed it too. So from Christchurch, um, it took me around two hours to reach to Arthur Pass and then around 30 minutes each way to the Devil Sponge Wall waterfall. So do let me know with your likes and comments uh, how was the video and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thank you.